at uh, the power plant in Bayview Hunters Point. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because because we gathered in the front and the pouring down rain, I mm -hmm. think they just thought, okay, well, it's going to rain so hard, they're going to get out of here. Okay. These folks are diehard in right. the pouring <laughs> down rain. I mean, they march down to the other side and shut down gates. I mean, these... Uh, you, that's got to be dedication, <laughs> okay? I mean, I, I can't applaud them enough for that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ah. Right. Now, this isn't a lot, because you do work alliances with other groups, and I uh, guess this, this is one is here. A, uh -huh. right, uh -huh. This is Chinese Progressive Association. We had representation from Poder, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese Progressive Association. We had uh, Code Pink oh, okay. uh, from the Green Party. Right. We had, uh, I mean, everybody I can think of, and if I'm missing somebody, mm. please forgive me, because uh. we had... Matter of fact, on this particular day, mm -hmm. we had people come all the way, take the train from San Jose up to support us on that. That was. Oh, okay. That's I pretty thought, cool. wow, yeah. yes, I'll <laughs> take you to the train station <laughs> when you were finished. Uh, okay, let's uh, go on to the next one. And this is. Oh, no, that's in the Central Valley. I believe that was at uh, the march to Cavanta, I believe. Mm -hmm. That was Cavanta. That's Tessie Esther from Baby Hunters Point in the Central Valley with Erica Sweeney. Now, Tessie is which one? Tessie is in the center in the blue jacket. Uh, oh, okay. From Baby Hunters Point, and, okay. and that's Erica Sweeney. And in, I, the, in the white cap? Or? In the white cap. Okay. And the other young lady, I don't recognize the face, so she's mm. going to have to forgive me. Okay. From here, I can't barely see, but you can tell Tessie anyway. Okay. And <laughs> that red cap. <laughs> and this was a Central Valley act. That's so in the city, that right. was in the Central Valley, Okay. Yes. And uh, next one? Okay. So here's, uh, uh, that's, here's your banner. You can, that's our banner in uh. front of, 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 we were marching down the street, and you can see the big, uh, PG big power things lines, on it, big yeah. power lines there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the next one. Okay, and this is our last one. So this was okay, Dioxin. That was the Dioxin. That was in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. And you need to know that those guys were great. Yeah. They now, were. A couple great. of things about working with other groups and, um, and educating them and yourselves. Um, for instance, when the industries talk about certain things they want to put up, they use the terms like recyclable and renewable. Um, but these <laughs> things really just incinerators in disguise. So you have to educate yourself <laughs> and the communities about. Be beware of what they're calling these things. Beware because of what not. they. What well, you have to because, like I said, there are. They come up with all the. They spend more time coming up with new names. Right. Than they do. <laughs> when I wish they would put that much energy into really perfecting the in, the the industry to do better. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it, it's really amazing. Nine times out of ten, when they. I love the idea of the steam and recyclable, mm -hmm. and they don't discuss what's escaping. Right. Usually, if there's nothing escaping, but when you go in, well, yeah, okay, a little bit. Well, how much is a little bit? And right. you go, well, isn't that a little bit over the limit of what should be escaping since this is supposed to be um, clean and green and, and renewable, you know? Right. I mean, the whole idea of using garbage uh, as clean, green energy, mm -hmm. recyclable energy. Sounds good because you're taking something old and yucky and you're reusing it. Right. But when you're burning plastics and all kinds of things in there and you don't really know exactly what you're throwing in or you right. know but you don't really know, right. it's easier not to know and do it. Right. I, 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 I like that idea of knowing and not really knowing. Well, I, I didn't know it would give you right. uh, <laughs> deniability, right. I guess. Well, we didn't know that was actually causing that and can you prove yeah. it? You know, and. Yeah. One of my most favorite sayings, and, and I guess people get tired of that, is, you know, I'm a mother and a grandmother, and mm -hmm. I deal in common sense and logic, and, uh, you know, I'm not an engineer, but, you know, I have this little document here that we pull off of your website, you yeah. know, <laughs> and it says, you know, <laughs> oh, we got this from the EPA, and they said, mm -hmm. you know, or the Air Board, who I have to be honest with you, for decades, they have done such a lousy job mm -hmm. of not necessarily monitoring if you want to say they, they actually know these companies exist and they actually know that they are polluters, mm -hmm. but enforcing. Mm -hmm. These guys have the ability to do a lot of enforcement, but they don't do it. Yeah. And one of the worst things I ever heard that just sent me into a, a near rage was the director of the Air Board said, well, in a meeting with, with PG&E and their lawyers, and it was a community meeting on mm -hmm. Kiska Road, and the lawyer said the plant was 40 some odd years old and I said uh, y you need to go back and tell them to give you some backup information because it's mm -hmm. actually 76 yeah. years old you know? <laughs> and I oh I forgot to tell you I do my homework yeah. you know <laughs> and uh, and it's this and it's that and, and we don't really do all this kind of pollutant we've been here for 50 years actually you've been here for longer and mm -hmm. yeah you know according to the 